now that the noise has gone the other way, I wanted to take you out here and show you how the campsite's coming along. Uh, and a couple other things. But this has been kind of our main project. Um, you know, since the garden's done pretty much for the year. We just wanted to beautify this space as much as we could. Now, we're kind of in process, but I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek at some of the pattern that we're putting. Actually, this is most of it. I don't think we're going to extend it out too much further than this. But there's a peek at what it is. I'm going to get out of here because he's going to bring another load. But I want to also show you the carrot bed because we did replant that. And I think uh, you've probably seen some pictures on Facebook and stuff, but here is how that is looking. I know the light's a little harsh in this mid-afternoon sun, but we got beets and turnips and spinach and lettuce and radishes and bok choy carrots. And then we're starting a new project over here and using what was supposed to be the chicken tractor, we're going to do an inversion of that process where we're going to plant this whole thing uh, with like baby greens and stuff, just stuff that we might not eat so much of, but when the chickens come out and scratch this, they can dig into that and eat those greens and that'll be good for the chickens. So, and then when we turn the chickens out in the afternoons, while this is fresh seeded and just starting to grow, what we'll do is we'll pull the chicken tractor over this spot to actually protect that spot from the chickens so that they can forage all around still without disturbing the seedlings that we're gonna put in here. So I'm gonna seed that today and water it in and then before we turn the chickens out this evening, we'll move that tractor over this spot. So, here we go. All right, so I have my baby greens, and uh, these are from Botanical Interest. I like them, but Tom doesn't like them so much. He likes his greens separate. So we're gonna use this to seed the chicken forage in this part of the garden.
before it's ready. Front of it covered. I ran into my Brussels sprout. Now all we got to do is wait the four to seven days for germination and then hopefully we will have baby greens for the chickens. Uh, this might sound wasteful using up good nutritious baby greens for chickens for forage, but of the ones that we do not eat, why not let the chickens have them? Um, so this has um, kale, broccoli, collards, kohlrabi, turnip, and bok choy. And out of those things, mostly what we eat is gonna be the, uh, the turnips and the bok choy and the collards. So, you know, and we don't eat a whole ton of that stuff. So anything that we're not ingesting directly, we need to let our animals benefit from. Uh, now I could pull that up and take it to them in their pen, but we really like to let them get out for at least an hour or two in the evening because they go to roost really well at night. So they kind of put themselves back away. But uh, we can't let them free range just yet because we still have a lot of fencing to do, cross fencing. And in order to keep them safe from predators, uh, safer, we want to, you know, just give them a little bit of time to get out, get those nutrients, find those grubs, uh, find those insects get those greens before they have to go to bed. And I think that putting them away with a little extra nutrition probably is gonna help them in the long run. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, lots of changes still, and lots of changes still to come. Y'all hang in there with us, be safe, be well, and we'll see ya.